Hello, welcome to my review of the Lux Jumper LED torch. Um, this is supposedly a an XHP 90.2 uh, LED chip in it, but of course there is no such thing in terms of the Cree naming conventions. They only go up to the 70.2, but uh, clearly this is a, a Chinese. Uh, copy of that kind of thing and it's supposedly brighter so it's the Amazon listing lists it as 12,000 lumens but I couldn't honestly say whether it is right okay but now if you see another torch like this it might be the same thing just in a different brand so uh, there's a little look at it overview general okay so um, it's metal construction aluminium fairly hefty, it's obviously got a pair of large uh, lithium ion batteries in it, the 26650 size. They come wrapped in a cellophane that you might not notice, so you do have to take that off. Um, anyway, just with some uh, model designation there. Um, right, okay, popping those in and a screw on end with just the uh, springy bit on it. Uh, substantial construction, happy with this. It's got a zoom mechanism on the end, so you can zoom like that. And you'll see more about the zoom later when I show you some um, footage of it in use. <coughs> it's got a very standardized uh, switch there and you'll see it went through three modes so it's got bright, less bright, strobe which I believe is going to the less bright setting and then off and you'll notice that the uh, it's got a green half LED on the button and that goes red uh, and when you're charging it can be either red or green, green saying it's fully charged. Um, this end in particular does get warm I've had it running for about an hour and yes, the handle gets a slight bit warm, this is hotter, but once I've taken the batteries out and felt them, they don't get too hot, so the battery life should be good in terms of the number of cycles it will go through, because one of the things a lithium ion battery hates is heat. Um, <clears throat> so, But of course you don't want to be insulating this end in terms of heat, because you, that will overheat it, so you want to keep that open to the elements. You don't want to rest it on a surface like that because that can potentially overheat it. Um, so, but it's fine to hold the handle. <coughs> now, it comes with this lanyard with an adjustable bit for popping your, your wrist through it. So whether you'd call it a lanyard, I guess not if it's going through your, list, your wrist. Um, reasonably substantial. Um, you wouldn't necessarily want to twirl this on this because there's uh, you know it's, a, it's not going to be massive and uh, you can detach it if you want or you can put other key rings or something else on there because you've got these loops on the end okay <coughs> um, now if I shine it well no okay you've got a micro USB socket for charging and I found if I charge it with a fast charger for my Android phone it charges, if I use it for about an hour, it takes an hour and a half to charge it back up, so it's uh, not a bad uh, thing. And I can easily use this for an hour on full power and it doesn't run out. So I'm not quite sure how long it will last, maybe a couple of hours, hard to be sure. I haven't done a life test in that respect, sorry about that. Right, let me um, shine the torch directly into the camera um, and you'll see You'll see there is a lens there, hence you can get quite a good beam pattern. Um, so I'm just going to, you can see the edge of the, uh, the beam and actually once it's further away it makes basically a square with, criss with a crisscross across the middle, across, across the middle, which represents the um, represents the actual way the uh, chip is constructed. It's just uh, 
four squares all adjacent to each other that light up and you actually see that pattern. Okay, um, <clears throat> it's probably around 400 grams I'm guessing, maybe 500, a uh, bit of heft to it. Um, good torch available, I bought it from Amazon UK, in fact I've bought two of these um, and I can use them as spotlight for videoing, spotlights for video videoing to increase the um, the light available and uh, yeah quite happy with those um, okay great um, so I've got some footage for you now so we'll, we'll look at that but I should just say it comes with a charging cable but no charger okay so you will need your to charge either from the computer or a laptop on a USB connection which might be slow or a, or a phone charger of some kind so when I say micro USB I mean that format there. So that's going into the phone, that's going into your power supply, which might be your computer. Okay, I can't tell you whether this is a data cable as well, it may well be. Not that you're going to ever put data into this. Okay, so <clears throat> I've been out down the lanes and here's some footage. Here is a view out of my bedroom window at night, looking out to the garden. I'll put the distance to the patch of garden I'm showing you on screen. And we can go across the park. <clears throat> 